So you know what makes up an LED light bulb, but what's the difference between a good LED light bulb and a bad one? Let's take a closer look. This LED light bulb is a cheap one that shall remain nameless. I'm using it because it has easy access to its driver, which is uncommon. Not all LED light bulbs are created equal. Some perform the way they claim and some definitely do not. The difference is in design, components and construction. An LED light bulb is only as good as its weakest link and in more than 50% of failures, the weakest link is the driver. A quality driver will continue to perform well for longer in higher temperatures. Driver life is directly related to the operating temperature and despite LEDs running relatively cool, heat is still the biggest cause of failure. The next most common thing to fail is usually the wiring. Cheap and fast connections may be broken with minimal vibration. Finally, the LED chip chosen is of importance too. Quality chip makers like Cree can guarantee their LED chip will continue to perform for longer in higher temperatures without loss of light or change in light quality. A good LED light bulb will use good quality components, driver, wiring, LED chips. But it doesn't stop there. A good LED bulb will take those good components and be carefully designed to make sure its full potential in lifetime and performance is realized. Once an LED bulb has been designed on paper and a prototype is made, LED engineers will test the operating temperature for the driver and LED chips to make sure they fall within their operating window. They'll also test the light is what they want it to be. A good heat sink with good thermal connection to the LED board is paramount in keeping heat away from the sensitive LED driver and chips. For every 10 degrees cooler you can keep an LED driver and LED chip, you'll double its lifetime. And that's ultimately what a good LED bulb compared to a bad LED bulb comes down to. The good ones are built using good design, good components and good construction so they can last longer. The bad ones use cheap components with cheap assembly and very little testing. For this reason, good ones usually cost more. All right, guys, I hope you liked it. I hope it made sense and was interesting. If you have any questions, ask them below in the comments and I'll get back to you.